חפים, לא מגיע לאף אחד, נכון? Heart-wrenching scenes inside Israel's parliament. Earlier today, relatives of hostages still being held by those vicious Hamas terrorists shouted at parliament members. They said, shame on you, and do not sit back when the hostages are dying. Their pleas come as a senior Hamas terror official told Reuters that, quote, there is no chance for the return of the captives. That was in response to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejecting their latest demands. The Prime Minister said, quote, in exchange for the release of our hostages, Hamas demands the end of the war, the withdrawal of our forces from Gaza, the release of all the murderers, rapists, leaving Hamas intact. I reject outright the terms of surrender, end quote. It's estimated that approximately 130 innocents are still being held hostage. They have now been held 107 days. This afternoon, White House National Security Spokesperson Admiral John Kirby gave this update. There are ongoing serious sober discussions with our partners and, uh, and our counterparts to try to get another hostage deal in place. I wish I could stand here, John, and tell you that, you know, I, I can announce it today or we're going to do it tomorrow. I, I can't do that. But I can assure you that this is not something we've, we've forgotten about. We still support pauses in the fighting to get hostages out. We don't support a general ceasefire. National Public Diplomacy Directorate, representative of the Israeli Prime Minister's Office, Tal Heinrich, joins me. Good evening. And do you even know how many of the 130 are even alive? I mean, is there any contact inside Gaza? Greta, thank you for having me on. We believe that more than 100 hostages uh, who are still being held for 108 days now in Gaza by these brutal terrorists are still alive. Uh, 136 are in Gaza. We will do everything in our powers to get back all of them. Now, the prime minister has met earlier in the day with uh, some family, some representatives of, of the, host uh, the families of, of these hostages, and he promised them that the government is pursuing every possible avenue to bring about the release of more hostages. We know that the only thing that works against these terrorists is pressure, pressure, and more pressure. So we will continue to hit Hamas terrorists hard and uh, do what is possible to try to create the conditions for another framework that will see the release of more hostages. Well, I have no doubt um, that the prime minister is doing everything he can. I've been to Israel. I've, I've, I've seen that 46-minute video. I've also spent time with Admiral John Kirby. I have no doubt the United States is doing whatever it can. It's just, I mean, I, I acknowledge that it's just the most impossible t uh, job when you've got, when you're dealing with savages like Hamas, and they are. I mean, there's no question about that. But is, is Qatar and Egypt, they were, they were involved before in trying to negotiate something. Is there any sort of movement on the part of Hamas, or are they just, just in, they won't deal? Greta, uh, I know that there are various reports out there about international mediations and different kinds of frameworks again, but I think that the less we talk about it, the better this will be because, you know, human lives hang in the balance here. So uh, our policy is not to expand on the nature of such talks behind the scenes, uh, but we are pursuing every possible avenue. And, and you're right, our, our hearts go out to these families of the hostages. They have been going through a torture of, of, of mind and soul and body and no sleep for more than three months now. And uh, the plight of the hostages is fairly uh, to, to say that this is the top of minds in every decision-making uh, process. And we ask, we call on, on the international community, on, on good people of conscience out there around the world to make sure that this will not only be the top of mind within Israel, but also outside Israel, because this is the number one humanitarian issue in Gaza right now, the hostages. <laughs> Um, if in the, in the event that the war does end soon, which I, I don't see it ending soon, what's is there a plan? I mean, what uh, Israel? I know that the prime minister said he's going to stay in Gaza until the you know Hamas is, is gone, and there's going to be Israeli security there in Gaza for some time. Is there any sort of movement that you'd have someone else provide the security besides Israel inside Gaza after the war? 
Greta, we say that after Hamas is eliminated, we want to make sure that Gaza is demilitarized and that the Palestinian society, not only in Gaza, is de-radicalized. If we want to have a, a better hope for, for the future in the region, these are the two conditions that Israel is going to insist about, and therefore the prime minister has said that Israel will have to retain, uh, to, to remain in some security responsibility over the Gaza Strip. Uh, but definitely we are uh, discussing different contingencies with our partners. We consult with partners, we take advice from partners, and, and we share concerns. Well, I've, as I said, I said I've been there. I've, I've walked the kibbutz where it happened. Um, I have. I've even been in the terror tunnels in, in Lebanon. Um, I've seen that 46-minute video, and I've also done one more thing: is I've read the charter of Hamas, where they say they won't negotiate. So, um, you know, I, you know, I am very, you know, I I have a very strong view on, on this as well. Tal Heinrich, thank you very much for joining me, and good luck. Thank you, Greta.